Hi children, in the previous session uh, we discussed about typical cell, especially the structure of plant cell and animal cell. In this session, I am going to explain about the difference and comparison between the plant cell and animal cell as well as plasma membrane. So how to isolate the plasma membrane and what are the character of the characters of the plasma membrane. Okay, just you see the peak here. So it is an ultra structure of the animal cell and ultra structure of the plant cell. So the parts which are present in the animal and plant cell already we discussed in the previous session. Just you, we observe here the differences in between the plant cell and animal cell. So in the animal cell, the cell wall is absent. So just you see here, the animal cell is surrounded with the outermost layer. So which is plasma membrane or cell membrane. Okay, the outermost layer of the animal cell is plasma membrane or also called as cell membrane. Okay, so but in the plant cell, the cell wall is present. So that's why, so in the plant cell, the outermost layer is cell wall. Outermost layer is cell wall. So here the plasma membrane, plasma membrane lies beneath the cell wall. So it lies beneath the cell wall. That's why the cell wall is an outermost layer of the plant cell. The cell membrane or plasma membrane is an outermost layer of the animal cell. So the first comparison, the cell wall is absent in animal cell. The cell wall is present in plant cell. Okay, now coming to the next organelle that is in a plastid. So these plastids are absent in the animal cell. So due to the absence of plastids, so the animals, so which are not synthesized, the food material itself. So because of the plastid, responsible organelle to do the photosynthesis process that are present in the only the green part of plants. Okay, so that's why the plastids are present in plant. Okay, these plastids are helpful in the process of photosynthesis and synthesize the food material. That's why the plants are called as autotroph. Due to the presence of plastids only, the plants are involved in the photosynthesis and prepare the food material. So the plastids are present in plant cell and absent in the animal cell. So now coming to the centromeres or centrosomes or centromeres are present in the animal cell. Okay, but here the centrosomes and centromeres are absent in the plant cell. Okay, so just you see here, so it is in a centrosome near, it is located near to the cell nucleus, cell nucleus, but here the centrosomes are absent, centrosomes are absent. So now coming to the vacuole, so here the absence of, in the both plant and animal cell that have in a vacuole, that shows the vacuole, but so the large vacuoles are absent in the animal cell and the large vacuoles are present in the plant cell. That is the only different. Okay. So here the small vacuoles are present, but here the vacuole is in a large vacuole is present in the plant cell. So now coming to the carbohydrates are stored in the form of glycogen in the animal cell. So here the carbohydrates are stored in the form of starch. Okay. So in the animal cell, the carbohydrates are formed in the glycogen material and it is formed in the starch material in the plant cell. Now coming to the lysosomes, if the lysosomes are present and if the lysosomes are usually absent. Okay, so these are the sum or differences or comparison between the animal cell and the plant cell. Okay, now coming to the next slide. Okay, comparison of plant cell and animal cell. So the parts, plant cell and animal cell. So just to see the cell membrane that present in the both plant cell and animal cell. Coming to the cell wall, cell wall present in only plant cell, absent in animal cell. Coming to the nucleus, nuclear membrane, so it is present in the both plant and animal cell. Coming to the cytoplasm, it is also present in the both plant and animal cell. Coming to the plastid, so the plastids are present in only plant cell and absent in animal cell. Already I told you the plastids are responsible for the process of photosynthesis. 
okay in the photosynthesis the plants are prepared the food material itself okay coming to the vacuole so present in very smaller in size and here it is also present but it is larger in size so these are the few comparisons so coming to the centrosome animal cell the centrosome is present the plant cell the centrosome is absent okay so now the next topic is the cell membrane or plasma membrane so i already told you the cell membrane which is also called as plasma membrane and also called as plasma lemma plasma lemma okay so actually it is an outermost layer of the animal cell so in the plant cell so it is enclosed in the cytoplasm it is enclosed the cytoplasm and one more layer is also present in the cell membrane that is cell wall that is cell wall okay so whenever we studied about any activity or any lab activity so we have some steps okay we should follow the some step okay so whenever we done any activity in our laboratory so we have to follow the experimental steps so the first step of the experiment that is aim material required procedure observation results and precautions okay these are the step of all experiments so whenever you conduct any kind of experiment in the laboratory you should follow these steps so the first coming to the aim to observe the cell membrane in rio leaf peel here the rio is in a plant so in the plant leaf peel we observe the cell membrane okay so that's where the aim of this experiment to observe the cell membrane in rio peel okay so whenever we conduct any experiment so we need some material we need some material so here the material is rio leaf slide cover sleeve sol solution microscope forcep and surgical blade dropper and brush and etc etc okay so these are the material required to conduct the cell membrane to observe the cell membrane in rio leaf peel experiment okay now coming to the procedure so first you take in a rio leaf okay first you take in a rio leaf so you are not teat tear the leaf in a single stroke okay you bend the back side and tear the stee leaf in a single stroke and observe the again is to do the light so when you tear the leaf and when you bend it and tear the leaf in a single stroke automatically you are observing a very light colored portion okay so you take in a, a small light colored portion from the leaf and place it onto the glass slide place it onto the glass slide so put a drop of water on it and later it is covered with an a cover slip okay so after that so you observe you observe that slide under the microscope okay so whatever the figure you observe in the microscope you draw you draw in your running notebook okay so after that take that slide only add two drops of dilute salt solution to the membrane okay so first you prepare the slide and observe it after that you take that slide only you add one or two drops of the salt solution so how to prepare the salt solution just you take in a beaker and pour 50 ml of water and add a spoon of salt to it you okay, add a spoon of salt to it so it is in a diluted salt solution so take in a one or two drops of salt solution with the help of dropper and pour two to three drops on the surface of the light colored leaf portion okay light color leaf portion so leave it for 5 to 10 minutes so after that 5 to 10 minutes so you have to observe that slide under the microscope so first slide observation directly so take in a leaf pot and tear it and take the white colored portion or light colored portions and place it in the glass slide and observe it after that you have to draw the diagram then so you take that slide and add one two drops of the salt solution and leave it for 5 to 10 minutes and then you observe and draw the diagram okay so in the two observations so just you see the next slide so this is an a rio discolor plant okay it's a 
shows a green and a violet color so both surfaces upper surface that shows the green color and lower surface that shows the violet color so when you tear the leaf and place it in there place it on a glass slide and observe on the microscope so the cells are observed look like this figure okay so this is an a cell wall this is an a cell wall so beneath the cell wall the cell membrane is present that cell membrane encloses the the cell membrane encloses the cytoplasm so in this cell so the cytoplasm is a full cytoplasm is present here the full cytoplasm is present here okay so it is in a first observation so after that what do you do so we add one or two drops of the salt solution to it so when we add one or two drops of the salt solution so whatever the water that present in the cytoplasm is come outside is come outside okay so this cytoplasm lost the water cytoplasm lost the water so when the cytoplasm lost the water so the plasma membrane or cytoplasm that become shrink the cytoplasm become shrink so when the cytoplasm become shrink so the plasma membrane so is separated from the cell wall so in the next observation so this is in a cell so whatever the cell you see here and after that adding salt solution so the cell become like this so because of it is in a cell membrane so due to the cells are placed in hypotonic solution so the cell cytoplasm shrinks so that's why so the cell membrane or plasma membrane that is separated from the cell wall so this you see here so this line so it is in a single cell a cell that present in the rio leaf but after the placing in hypotonic solution or salt solution so the cytoplasm is shrinks so that's why so the cytoplasm is surrounded with the plasma membrane i already told you so the outermost layer of the cytoplasm is in a cell membrane so outermost layer of the cell here it is in a cell so here the cell wall is separates from the cell membrane so due to the salt water due to the salt water so now you watch the video here so for this video so we have to take the material so this you see it is in a rio leaf and it is in a beaker water and it is in a brush and it is four set a glass slide watch glass and tissue paper and microscope okay so these are the different materials we needed for conducting of this experiment okay so first we take in a leaf we get taken a rio leaf and fold it to the back side fold it to the back side so where the violet color is present so we only take the leaf from that side only so because of leaves are shows in the violet or pinkish in color okay so now you separate that light colored portions with the help of forcep okay with the help of forcep so after the separation of that light colored portion of the leaf and that leaf portion was placed onto the glass slide so with the help of brush so you add one drop of water on it so take in a brush and add in a one or two drops of water on the surface of that light colored portion so after that so you take in a cover slip okay so you take in a cover slip and place the cover slip onto the ekkuga unna neetini onto the tcsi leaf portion okay so after that with the help of tissue paper remove the excess amount of the water and observe that slide under the compound microscope so when you observe the microscope so the cells are look like okay just you see here so this is an a just you see so it is in a cell so cell wall and it is in a cell membrane cell membrane okay the cell wall and the cell membrane is observed so the first the cytoplasm is fully occupied the cell later the cytoplasm shrinks due to the add of salt water that's why the cell membrane is separated and seen in the microscope seen in the microscope okay now coming to the some characteristic features of that uh, cell membrane so actually the cell membrane observed through electron microscope only so because of it is in a very minute layer that surrounds the cytoplasm so especially the cell membrane which is very flexible and it is mainly made up of the proteins and lipids 
okay so it is mainly made up made up of with the bilipid protein layer bilipid protein layer okay the composition of the cell membrane is lipids and proteins okay along with the lipids and proteins so glycolipids and glycoproteins are also present okay i already told you so in the animal cell so it is an outermost layer okay animal cell it is an outermost layer of the cell that separates the cytoplasm from the external environment okay so this plasma membrane is an outermost layer of the cell that separates the cytoplasm from the external environment so what is the function of that uh, cell membrane so the cell membrane that given a particular shape and size to the cell and which is also enclosed the cytoplasm and it protects the cytoplasm from the external environment okay so it's given a particular shape and size to the cell and which is also protect the cytoplasm from the external environment okay so inside the cell what is present the cytoplasm is present okay actually the cytoplasm is composed with the many kind of substances okay there are other cell organelles are there along with the other cell organelles so there are many substances are there okay due to the presence of those substances in the cytoplasm so it shows the different concentration it shows the different concentration okay so these substances so which are maintain the balance of the cell which maintain the balance of the cell so if the cell balance so is uh, cell balance means so the cell concentration is increased so the cytoplasm allow the water into the cell the cell okay depend upon that concentration only it allows the some subst substances from the external side into the inside of the cell so that's why so the cell membrane so which maintains the balance of the cell the cell membrane which maintains the balance of the cell and the cell membrane or plasma membrane is also called as selectively permeable membrane so which means so the cell need what are the chemicals or what are the substances so which is required for the cell growth only those substances are allowed by the plasma membrane or cell membrane and that's why it is called as selectively permeable membrane selectively permeable membrane so if the cell don't want any kind of the minerals so they should not allow into the inside of the cytoplasm so because of it maintains the ionic balance ionic balance so selectively it choose some substances those substances are permitted permit to enter into the cell that's why it is called as selectively permeable membrane and the cell membrane is also involved in the exchange of substances exchange of substances so in between the two the cell membrane is present okay this cell membrane can allow the substances from the one cell to the another cell and cell to the external environment cell to the external environment that's why the exchange of the substances is also carried out by the plasma membrane plasma membrane okay for example the traveling of the food material from the leaf system to stem and stem system to the root and the traveling of water molecule conduction of water molecule from the root system to the shoot system and shoot system to the leaf system okay so this is mainly allowing of those minerals along water is also carried out by the plasma membrane so that's why so the plasma membrane is called as selectively permeable membrane so which involve in the exchange of substances from one cell to the neighboring cell and from the inside cell to the external environment okay so these are the few functions of the plasma membrane so detailedly we studied about the plasma membrane so in the chapter 4 chapter 4 thank you